prepare them, let them soak in water, and then plant them and have more trees. Actually doing really well. Made a little moat around it. So we just also throw garden waste in there so it composts in place. The chilies looks like it's just gonna die off. It's okay, we'll just plant that them again. There's more of those cow peas that we tried this summer. It is growing, although struggling a little bit, but it, it works. But no fruit. Again, our walkway is closed with sweet potato. Bananas. I think summer is just too tough for them to be open here like this. So uh, it, it, it will need more protection. More protection, yeah. Maybe plant, maybe this, maybe this moringa. If we leave it for it to bush, maybe in one year, uh, for next summer, this tree here will be tall enough to shade the banana and help it through summer. So if we pass through here, you can see here planted these moringas August 8th. That's all they are now already doing well and then with my son we've planted one moringa seed in this uh, old piece of watermelon uh, this really needs to go in the ground soon rather sooner than later in order for it to survive now if we come here to battlefield row You guys will remember this from the past videos if not check out that video battlefield row here's a volunteer purse lane I'm not familiar with it it's, it's a, like a soury succulent plant with some sour taste to it some nice grass is growing here now coming along very well Only this one, a oh, shorty, but you can see shorty has some growth here, so it might pop out soon. So it's not dead yet, which is great. All these nice sticks are oh, very nice. You see this double barrel over here. Oh, this is the tall one. Here the double barrel is working as well. Even on the on the tips. Even on the tips, see it's growing. And on this tip here. Now, this is a watermelon. I think it's only one plant. But you can see the sticks, I've put in sticks wherever there's a, a treasure underneath. You can see there's a treasure in here. So there's one over there, one over there. And we have two over there on that side. And then another one over here. They do stay small, it's summer. You can see it's just overgrown, but not setting fruit on the side. This, this Moringa is actually surprising me because things don't really grow here. It's very windy, but uh, it's actually not doing too bad here, this year. Moving forward, these two trees as well, they're doing well, uh, surprisingly for me. Um, We'll see how they go in the winter. In the winter they'll get limited sun, maybe if anything early in the morning. I doubt it actually if I'm thinking of the angles for sun in the winter. So these guys might only get sun in the afternoon for maybe two hours to an hour. And the rest, yeah, not much to say here in the front. Summer is just too tough. And then with, depending on the wind, with the automatic watering that we have, uh, this watermelon survived and it's still growing. The rest is really, really having a, a battle. But we're not really doing anything here in the front. We just leave it. Keep things alive. You can see there at the back. We'll go there now. 
That Moringa is doing good, great. That's a victim. That tree over there. Yeah, so the struggle here in the front is very real. More victims. Now I will extend these beds this way, and this way, and this way. To have some more planting space because in winter in this area here it gets the morning sun very nicely and then in the afternoon some, some sun as well it gets shaded during most of the day uh, because of the big building uh, the house behind us so you can see more intense planting of moringa on there and then some grass that is overgrowing there which we will sort out that's not an issue for now at least it's covering the ground reducing the heat around these plants uh, yeah the eggplant here is not doing too great mm, it is very hot but as you guys can see all this yellow fruit on here this it's too hot uh, for the fruit to mature well you can see there at the bottom as well There's so many fruit down there we won't be able to, to utilize uh, now you can see a lot of yellow in here um, also, maybe the water is not enough. We'll have to increase the amount of water we give here. Here's our slow compost pile at the back. Nice moringa. And some trees down this, this wall here. So, yeah. That is about it for this update. Um, this I'm not sure what it is so it is gonna flower now and if it's got fruit we'll see then what it is the boss is coming or going <laughs> all right Right guys, before the camera shuts off because it's too hot. Um, yeah, even the camera is struggling here in summer. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you. Oh, good afternoon again. Just a quick update of what's going on here in the garden. Uh, it's been about two weeks, two and a half weeks maybe since the, the last update so if you are interested to see progress from before go back you can see what we've done in the past compared to what it is today so if you're not subscribed yet please do so share it put your comments down so let's get into it i'll be talking from the back if you see our what we can call a Moringa intense plantation So these ones we've we've reduced them before and cut them down and You can see the growth that is there already uh, Look at these guys here. You see here was the cut All the new growth. This is all new growth all of this new growth. See how tall this maybe 2.2 uh, 2.2 meters maybe like seven feet now and you can see the space like almost Oh, well, less than a foot apart at the bottom. I did plant three three seeds in one hole before, but I thinned them out as we went along, and I will still continue to thin, thin them out and based on observations. We have some aloe vera here that we rescued. There's a video also from before how I did that. Some grass coming out here that will transfer later in a more suitable uh, location. Some eggplant coming out here, lemongrass, the beans. Again, no fruit set because it's too hot. But yeah, we made all these um, structures for them to climb. Our tree, this is Albizia Lubbock. It's about three years old. I think this year it grew about twice as high as before. Uh, I think it's maybe the roots are just happier. As we move on here, you can see the dead stuff in our paths. Our paths are overgrown with sweet potato and kangkong. Down here. You can see I'm just going over this here and then 
a while back, maybe three weeks, maybe three weeks ago. We put the stick in the ground. We can just rescue it here from this Kong. We put a Moringa stick in here. As you can see, it's growing really nice. It took, so yeah, we will have a tree here then. <laughs> at the end of our little walkway Kong area over here tree is getting struggling a little bit there but it's at least it's holding up the structure actually so yeah uh, lemongrass it looks a bit pale I think it needs a bit of a nitrogen boost but that's coming it's not a problem probably heat as well because I, I chopped it down uh, here in summer sweet potato patch if you can call it that Moringas, Moringa, plant, just have some pretty flowers, that's about it. Here again, you can see one of the, the, the cuttings we've put in, nice growth on that, nice growth. Dead chili, these Moringas, they came back nicely after we harvested them before, you can compare that to the older videos, it's about three weeks ago now cut them down and this beans probably only this one is a cowpea actually not a bean cowpea is growing up you can see all these dead leaves it's just too hot for them to produce anything uh, we'll probably have another month of this hot and humid weather before it turns corn dying away dying off uh, as expected nothing much expected from that more moringa over here with some basils uh, our bit of an experiment going here is doing okay, if you ask me. Lemongrass is still growing on the, on the edges, interplanted with Moringa trees. And we just dump garden waste in the middle. And that's just composting in place. So the plant roots will just have access, they just have to find it themselves. And the organisms in there breaking down the compost or the plant material will interact nicely there. Uh, as you can see here, more overgrowth of Kong Kong is flooding this way. Empty bed, but still the soil is covered to keep it to keep it uh, cool. Moringa is now really kicking in. That 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 moringa with our little birdie at the back. Now this sweet potato, or not sweet potato, the eggplant that we have here. You can see it's very heavy and it's bending over. It's getting a bit long. So what I will do, I'll start trimming it back in preparation for when it gets cooler so it can uh, when it sets fruit it doesn't hang on the ground and the plant might be a bit more comfortable when it's a bit trimmed down also if you guys remember the molochia from before there's only one plant we have this year of molochia it was a volunteer plant we didn't plant it it just came up by itself uh, you guys will remember it i pinched it to encourage growth you can see it's nice and strong. We have some more moringa and four lemon grasses that came out, which is nice. On this side, compost here at the back, compost pile, slow compost. More eggplant, corn is dying off uh, as expected. You can see our little stick over there, it's coming back completely now. Oh, it's okay. So this is our walkway actually. We'll sort this out sometime. It's a bit dry towards the end of the day. As you can observe on these plants, but these moringas also came back very nicely. A little bit slower there at the back. So this tall tree, our experiment. That we didn't cut, but we did strip the branches off. You can see all the nice side shoots that's coming coming off there now. So that looks like, like it's good, but this one is still the best. It's got about six side shoots compared to this one, which we didn't top. This one does; it's doing really well. 
I'm still in between which one is the better one. Here's one stick of Moringa. You can see here at the bottom now, it's starting to grow. It just took a lot longer than the, than, than the rest, but it is working. So we'll just leave it in there. It will be a low, a low tree, I think. You see, that's dead. So I think the growth only is from here downwards. So it will only grow from that bottom part, which is okay. Two trees here from seed that we've trimmed a few times. All those grasses. If you look at this moringa, is doing also very well here. And then one more cutting that we had from before, doing also excellent. This cutting is doing very good. And then the colossus in, in our books, in our little garden, is doing really well. So the plan with this one will be because it will cast a lot of shade in winter in our garden. We'll just coppice it. Pollard, well we'll rather coppice than pollard. But what we will do then is we'll take all the good wood, hardwood, and we'll plant them the same as we did in Battlefield Row. I will show you now, but we will do the same as this, cuttings.